Well, let's do the same for RPO. So recovery point objective is the maximum acceptable amount of time since the last data recovery point. The objective determines what is considered an acceptable loss of data between the last recovery point and the interruption of service and is defined by the organization. Again, we pulled this from the AWS white paper for disaster recovery and uh, we have cost and complexity, but this time it's replaced with data loss before service interruption. So uh, for multi-site, again, it's gonna be very expensive and high up here. As you notice, it's not like a perfect um, uh, curve. It's just, it's a bit different in terms of what it looks like. So here we have warm stand standby, pilot light. Um, and so you'll see that the data loss is um, not a big deal, but for backup and restore, it really juts out there. So you can see that you can get pretty good results just with the pilot light and the cost and complexity is very low. Again, we have to look at our cost and business impact. So we got to follow that line and we need to see where our acceptable uh, recovery cost is. And so uh, you're going to notice that uh, we have a bit of an intersection here. Okay. And so we need to determine, you know, like, are we going to be doing a warm standby? It looks like we have the cost to do it. Um, uh, but, you know, it just really depends, you know, do we want to be down here or down there? Okay, so uh, hopefully that helps and visualize that information for you.